Get ready. Roll it. This is a Sasquatch, a profile angle. Now that shows a lot of human possibilities. This way shows possibilities that anybody's guess. This has been done over a period of time and changed according to people's input. We'll add the hair to it next to show you, after I show you the cone. The cone's on top here, often described in the Sasquatch. Uh, you mentioned a couple of uh, bones you found in the cave, too, that might uh, be shed from the top of the head there. Explain that. We, uh, we have found bones that indicate the possibility of this as being a fact. Now, I'll put the hair onto it next. Turn it off a minute. You see, you're putting on the hair, and this hair is to show you how often described. And bear in mind, no primate, no primate has hair longer than three inches. But this is an interesting piece. Non-conclusive, but it's very interesting. And this can be changed at any time according to input. That's the indication of the leftover. What? Man, or are you starting beginning again over again? Yeah, well, <coughs> okay, we're inside okay, Zach's cave. Now this is the, is this the entryway, the first room. Okay, I'm gonna get this and then done whenever you're ready to start. Okay, that over here. Down there where you're pointing the camera is the entryway. Thirty-five feet across, approximately, by fifteen feet high. Let's say that. The cave over here now is the hole above where the pigeons fly in to roost. Below the hole, down here, we find indications of a recent kill and a plucked bird. Blood over, there on the hill. over here is blood also. That's pretty recent. It is. It's, it's last uh, <coughs> days. Well, note how this bird is taken apart. That doesn't look like coyote, bobcat, mountain lion. I'm not no, an expert. They wouldn't, they wouldn't no tracks there either, no cat tracks. Right. Looks like this thing's been plucked clean. You talk into it yourself if you want to. Okay. I'm going to get up here and get a really good close-up of the bird. That'll be nice and gory. Blood sport. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we have a mix of the bird. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be. Yeah, the saliva would be. I don't think we could get a good sample off of that, other than. Well, it, it's interesting. Uh, you know, that's where know. probably where they killed it. Right there, where that blood is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't see any coyote. I don't think a coyote would do that. Do you, Jeff? They wouldn't think you'd leave any bird. Yeah. Well, why would they, you know, it's, it's been, I don't see a wing, you know, where they would rip the wing, mm. but it's been picked clean. Now, uh, look at, it's right around where a fire is. Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't cooked. Well, fire was once upon a time. Yeah, you know, fire. We call this area here the altar area. The altar over here line fought against it. Well, and you don't know how we long this been. particular wood fire was. Well, it's it's oh, yeah. It could be thousands of years. You don't, and that's the thing. I don't know how you test you know, to know how old that charcoal is. I'd say it's 20 years. Right okay, Don. Uh, this is a mountain lion track. There's the, the main pad, and this is the four fingers right there. Oh, I gotcha. I see. See, I didn't even see the four mm -hmm. here. That's called a pug mark. Pug mark. Oh, yeah. Right. And here's, to indicate where it, it would be, it's behind that feather right there. And there it's coming this way, this direction. Mm -hmm. That's the pad, uh, like on a dog track. And that's not a large by mountain lion standards, is it? No, it's a fairly good size. It's a good size one. They're, they don't get... 120 pounds, right. 150 pounds. I just That's figured huge. their paws were... Now, he stepped here, little. and he stepped right there. And he stepped right there. Yeah. Yep. Got disturbance up here. He stepped, right. he stepped right there, and he stepped right there. They ate that. You think that's what he well, did? Well, maybe not. He might have the he might investigated line. afterwards. Well, too. we've got tracks, so we got to put him, include him yeah, in the possibility. Yeah, but he may have investigated afterwards like we're doing. And just said, no. 
He might have came here afterwards exactly <laughs> as we're doing and did the same thing we're doing, wondering what the hell killed him. He'd have smelled it and come in, take a look what, at it. And what's over here? What's this? this meat isn't frozen. The cats? That's clean feathers like that? That's not froze. Uh, God, I don't know. I know they, they preen... Uh, well, here's what i tell you. I think they don't cat dissipate that blood yet. Ah, let's go back and explain that right quick. We had snow in the area. Okay, um, there's snow in the area here. Oh, being talking now? Yeah. And over here is the kill that's probably within the last 24 to 36 hours. Over here is blood that has not dissipated by their elements. Hasn't had rain or snow fall into it to get it to go down. The cat party came afterwards to investigate the kill. And the cat didn't kill the bird, probably. Likely something else set right here on this area. And we went ahead and uh, had a good lunch. So what we're thinking, too, is the snow is here but not over there meaning that that kill had to have occurred after the snow and if now I'm know. thinking this right here is the spot he set because here's a flat rock here's a big cat trap come here ah uh, let's cast it later on well come here's where he set make the damn thing coming over to Jeff to get here, the cat track well, gotcha that looks like it but this is pretty oh my gosh there's a good one there well that's the first time we've ever seen any evidence of the cat well I, it's, there's another one right there okay there's another one right there. I, I think that's a cat track, but I'm, I'm quite sure by his head shadow right here. Uh -huh. Well, that's a large cat there, and then there's two cats here in Cape. That one's good. That kind of like, that's, this, this cat track here is large. The big ball is a big one. There's a pair of them. This one's bigger. It looks... This, this track here is large enough to cast. We'll, we'll come back and cast I'd this. like to take a cat track home. I've been looking for one of those in the foothills for... Well, here's a chance to get one. Oh, my hell, look at this one. <laughs> you have to be careful about, what you're seeing. How about our lights? <laughs> well, we? this is huge right here, right where that light is. There's, look at that one, too. How do these yeah, turn I just on? saw Before that. Before you one. go. I don't know what that is. Look. I guess that's too Paul. Yeah, yeah, there's here, here. Hey, son of a bitch. Uh, 14 verses of Bill Grogan's goat. I don't want to see you. I hope you're out of here. Now here's the thing guys, from here on, when you get back in this cave, not a chance of getting around the cat. You have to go around you to get over here to get out of here. There's a couple of places where it's tight. I does it turn this, this tight, tight. does the cave turn and go this way now? It goes, it goes right, right through back there. Back in there, a long way. And it goes right, there's parts a passage, the I think it's right there, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Now let's, let's walk around these tracks and come back out, we'll cast one of them. Or you can cast one now and have it ready to come back out of here. And we all set up for you. Um, I'm going to get a couple casts. That's nice. There's good. more down here, too, looking over this edge. There. <laughs> Great tracks. That's cool. Nice. Big, that's a big cat. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Maybe another saber tooth. Okay, this means, something else, guys, listen now. <laughs> this also means that people aren't here enough to cat to worry about. Yep. Right. Because if they're, they're, they're like the kings of paranoia, aren't they, cats? Right. If our scent is here, there. Walk on the rocks. Where are the tracks? Are any of these tracks you guys? No. Well, we've been in and out of this several times. Five months ago. Yeah, but I mean, hell, these tracks will last a long time, won't they? Right, yeah, they will. Yeah, yeah. yeah and this But that's cool. That's beautiful. Wow. That, that's worth the trip. Yeah, that exactly. Right it's just man. Well, see, you got these little crags and crannies. All sorts of things. Yeah. 
distraction. Miracle. Okay. Well, I'm making my way on this side. I don't know if I can't say I know that one is, but he just suggested it looks like it should be that too. A scratch mark. Now, a scratch mark would not be by a cat in this case. Cats on the rock? Right there, right here. Right here. Right there. Well, I didn't do it though. I could have done it before. Yeah, I could have done it before. But the long flight like this, it could be that same thing. Like you said, it could be that very well. Yeah, that's where I found the big trophy handprint. Wow. On top of that rock. Don, tell us about this bone here. It's got the marrow. This has been marrow taken out of the center for protein. Animals will, and people have been known to break those and chew the marrow out. And man sometimes will go into those things as well and, and uh, take the marrow out. It's not, not likely any animal did that, cat? Well, we don't know for sure. That, that's not conclusive whatsoever. The bones you want to be conclusive about are the longer ones that are that like the size of a foot long and the split like that. Right. See indications with scratch marks from arrow, from mm. a obsidian or a knife. Okay. Oh. Uh, we found those too, but over here now. Go ahead, this. Don. Tell us what you think. Well, that could be finger marks. We can't say that it is. Right there on oh, well, the fork. Put the white on it. There you are. Right there. It could be finger marks, but we aren't certain of that. And over here, some more. Places oh, wow. Are. See over here where there's possibly something's done work there also, but they're not conclusive. And up here also. Up here now, right my fork. This is kind of fresh. Put the light on the blow my fork there. Right in here. <laughs> I tried to crawl up and I hit the ceiling. Well, yeah. It's not the Texas panhandle. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's something there, so it looks like it could be some disturbances. It doesn't mean a thing, but it, there it is. All right, I, we don't know yet. We'll find a track, we'll know. So you were saying about beer bottles. They bring them in as a fetish, as a toy. Do they? We found one place over four months' time, they brought them to their beds. In fact, you know, back here, beds back here. And they put them left in their beds all the time. Huh. And, uh, so three one time and two one time, and then play with them. Like, Do like, we go this way or see? All right, Don's going to show us how you might fake one of these. And that's the size it would be. That's, that's a, it would be a fake right there. Right. And I notice how human it looks. We might come across some real ones today. We do will know the difference. Right. The way they could fake it is make those longer. You show us how they make those longer, yeah. those prints. Like this, just like that. Just like this, like that. Like that, you make them. Right. That be, a, be a fake, and it's hard to make a fake these Yeah, it, exactly. Exactly. Well, something's crawled back here, but it's still, you know, it's, it's been a long time. Can you tell any definitions like tracks would be, would be really, uh... No, well, yeah, I can see where they drug like a, on their hands and knees over here. Like they're crawling to a bed area or just crawling well, for... There's this little nook and cranny back here. Nice place to lay back there. Look yeah. how comfortable this place is. It is, very. Now here's what I'm going to do for you. I want you to film this. <coughs> We're going to come back here in a while. And I get this... Talk if you want. We're putting right. this uh, thermometer out here. We're going to leave it right here. We'll come back in an hour or so and see the temperature of the cave. Uh, okay. Is this recording now? Yeah, we're on. Okay, right there is the thermometer. And we'll find out in an hour's time or so what the temperature is actually going to be. Right. Uh, on this, yeah, on this right here. So you shine that on there so you can see it like that. We can leave stuff here. I was going to say, is this a We'll come back through here. That's you know, right. Now from here on is crawling. Right. Otherwise. All right, we'll get into crawl mode. Crawl mode. We're going to be crawling? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is this your spot you hate? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Uh, I love to crawl. All right. Is this the... Okay. We got Jeff there. Jeff, if you could take your hand and just do the outline of... This little hand, I'm going to try to get a little closer here to the camcorder. Hang on, it's going to get sketchy for a minute till I... This is for those watching. It ain't easy. 
Okay. We just put a black thing. Are you you on? Yeah. We just set something black here to identify it for the people crawling in behind. But right here, I'm outlining the feather. It's the dangest thing you've ever seen. It's a it small is. hand. Small hand. So what is it? I don't know. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yep. I know it's a hand. Okay, that's what got me. They've been casting him before, so I'm not surprised. I do not know what... Um, okay, thank you. Looks like there's some little mouse tracks that have gone right through it. Look. Yeah. There's some mouse tracks that have gone right through the hand. Right. Uh, well, that's a... That could be a pack rat. Okay. Can you see the little Yep. Look rat at the little rat tracks. tracks. Little rat tracks. Look at the size of those little rat tracks in this tiny human hand. So tell me, is, is anybody going to bring your baby in here? Palm. Yeah. What? It, it, Palm, made, Palm made a very important point. Who's going to bring something that small in here? That's right. Not a, that's not even a, a small high school girl or anything right. like that that might be in here. It's, it's so too small. That's amazing. A little tiny hand. It's hard to see with the camera, many, uh, but... Can you see this? Five maximum. Five max. That's okay. amazing. But it seems... Uh, it's interesting. Right. It, there's everything beyond the fact that there's a handprint here that shouldn't be right. you know, now, speculation. But that's a handprint, and I'm here <laughs> to tell you. Now I'm going to thicken the plot a little bit. And I'm a fat a butt print, fellers. There's a butt print over here. With a cast going out. How it's big a, is it? It's about eight inches wide and six to seven inches from front to back. Is it, is it naked then, right? No, it's 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 a wider than tw it's twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, okay, a foot, probably a foot wide, and. Is there any perforations of clothing, like cloth or Levi's or anything like that? No, there's a rock in the middle of the print, which will add to its credence. Did uh, yeah, look for hair marks in the, in the right now, hand Hold hand it. Hand I don't know hand how hand. that would be a butt print there because look at how low the ceiling is. How could they get their butt there? What if it was something tiny and they leaned forward? Sat there and leaned forward. It's possible. Leaned against the rock. And then their their yeah, height comes down. Stuff real good now. Well see this is a little ass. This butt's smaller. This is a this you can butt. see the crack. Would that go with the hand? The butt print yeah, because this butt is as small as I guarantee you, you're looking yep. at a, a butt the size of a twelve year old that, girl, ten year old could, girl. That could be a butt. You look naked to you? Yep. Cause you can see where the crack. Okay. Can you oh, see man take from take hair? this take this and put it over by that butt print for Paul. Okay. Okay. It's right. in front of the foot butt print, Paul. Okay. Can you see any evidence in there? They're leaving the kids behind and yep. hunting. That's what I think, is that they said over here. The kids are safe in the cage. That's a butt print. But a small one. I'll be going ahead. Well, All right, well, let's there. make a little progress. I'm getting claustral. All right, tape <laughs> off. Okay, right here where I'm pointing is a second hand print of the possible evidence of the butt print, which is a small creature also down below, will cast these on the way out. And uh, chances are we have found where the, the nursery room was being used for the children to stay behind while the creatures hunt, if this is what this is. Right. We aren't positive. And look again, you see the little rat tracks, the little pack rat tracks around here. They aren't important, but they're there. Right. See, there's the little yeah. fingers. There's a... Yeah, One, two, picture. and then look at the little tiny where the... Okay, he's crawled up through here. Imagine casting a little pack rat. <laughs> That'll come out in the be Yeah, that's right, by default. Okay, now tell them where that's at so we don't run into that. Okay. Oh, I forgot my rake. Where'd it go? Well, it's right here. Give it to your brother up there. Well, I gotta get it. That's good. Yeah. Well, I do know, guys, we gotta find more small prints. Now, what they, what they did, I'll tell you where they went. Up over the right rocks. rocks. And back in there is a cavern area that's probably sleeping here. Yeah. I expect to find a bed back here with small indications of a sleeper. Here's the other one. All right, what, what can I do with that? Here, let me set your lantern here. Okay. So what's the camera? Is there a print there? Yes. Yeah. Here. To the left of the camera. To the left of it. It's oh, the second okay. small print, Paul, and that's the other one. Okay. Got that. No, I may even leave that right on. <laughs> the gardener came through. Did he leave the rake in here? Yeah. The gardener came through. Yeah, he did. The gardener. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
There you go, action shot, Bill cataloging the situation. Well, listeners, my next book, my book will be three or four thick feet. Thick. Exactly, exactly. We'll need a, a grocery cart just to get it home. Someday uh, you'll see another book come out. It'll be either conclusive or fiction, one or the other. Right. I may write a Stephen King novel. Oh, wow, look ahead. Yeah, we're going there. Yeah, this the dinner room. Wow, there's a long corridor. Where you sleep, guy? This is the sleeping room. And this wow. Is the presentation room. Let's see your flashlight a minute. I gotta look at the flashlight. I'm a little concerned about something. You see any eyes? Tell me, because I'm right in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Such a nice flashlight, boy. We ought to be able to. I think today we're going to be unfortunately lucky to find something in Fort Fulton. What he found enough to satisfy me. Yeah, those little handprints. I mean, you said it best. Who's going to bring I somebody that? Some almost small guys. Who would do that? Who's going to do that? That's Nobody child abuse. That. That's child abuse. We've got some handprints already home and cast of the bench, those guys. I know. Or something like that. Small. That first one that I saw that was about that size. Wow. Now, I want to tell you something. Right there is the way they went over the rocks. I think so. I know so. Up this, right that, that there, right along here. That's the pattern. I've been over myself that floor back in there. Well, it's easy because you can grab and you can move well, at odd well, angles. Well, they're naturally. Why was it down here for? Right. Plus the... I've been in more comfortable spots. we got to get Newman out of this hole. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Press on. Okay. Rolling. Another possible There's hand find. Right there. There it is. There it is there. Right there. It's another small one. Um, looks fairly old, though. See how the, the things have... Uh, uh, old meaning m weeks. Don't waste your film yet. Uh, I'll get my hands with better ones. You care if I crawl on this ledge up here? No, it, here. as long as you can tell what nope. you're doing, yeah. that's what you're yeah, here for. Go ahead up there. Down in there we've met, had some good prints. I'm going back in here a little bit further. Yeah, I'm going to head over here to Jeff and get this on what film. This? Oh, wow. That's a turd of some kind. Really? I mean, let's look at all these rats. It's probably a rat turd. Uh, they're a little short, a bigger, little bigger length. They're, they're out of rodents. Yeah, that's a rodent shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that is weird the way they're kind of tracks here. Well, no, see how that's humped up? That's that's the way you... Uh, Is that a bear? On a track there, track there, track there. Uh, I can't well, when they got points out in front of it, there's three spots out in front of it. That claws? Well, I see something here. I don't know what this is, but... I'll come up and see. I'll come up over there. But, yeah. Let's go for the ear track first, though. Well, see, it's got a hump like that, and then one, two, three. Um, this, this darn it's old, run. though. It's Tell me a flashlight, Don. I'm going to go up and see Jeff. He's got something. One, 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 one second. Look at himself. Looks like a butt here. I'm okay. Half day. Half day. This is a day. Or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right here. Here's some, some more light. Yeah, that's a good light. Yeah, do what you need to. Oh, right there, the little. I need to get an overall. Right here. Look right in there. Looks like a little butt thing. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Boy, there's. Looks like a... Is that bones or what? I know that area well. Huh, I'll go check it out. Cast right here and here, that's what that white craft. And there was a cast right in there. Now that little bone guy had a, had a cross through here. Um, that's dog, or like coyote maybe. Coyote dung. This, is, this has been enlarged since last August 5th. Mm-hmm. There was something been in here since I've been here. I've been enlarged, enlarged that hole. Well, it looks like some real activity right here, whether it's a knee or a butt. Yeah, look right at that line right there. See right here? Right yeah. by your flashlight. Back back up. Yeah, but see right there on point, man? Mm -hmm. There's a handprint there that's obliterated. You see it? It's, it's yeah. like elongated. Pointing yeah. this way, fingers? Yes, that's been a fingers before. Fingers that way. There's been a fingers right there. So they're wow. digging going in? They're coming, they climbed out of there. Hmm. Or went down in backwards. Maybe went down in backwards. 
And how are these creatures seeing where they're going to go? This here's an ass print. Yeah, that is an that's, ass print. That's the cheek and that's the center cleavage. And that's the inner cheek and leaning to the right right here. Better known as a it put his hand track. right there to go down to there. Right. I agree with that. All right, Don, I'm going to come up over you here. Okay, now, Look here's... It's, it's not some stuff off the side. Look at that. This is a small ass print. Has it been talked on now? Yeah. This is a small butt print, and this is the cheeks, and that's the cleavage in the center, call it that. And, I, and it sat right there, and I put his hand over on the rock over here, and the other hand right there, sideways, to go down that hole right there. Explain how that hole's enlarged. This hole's enlarged since last August 5th, five months ago, and it's, it's enlarged about in half again the size it was last time. The cave down below there could be quite deep. We'll have to find that out. Who knows? Yeah. Oops. I'm going in after that. I am. <laughs> I'm going to go in there. All right. I'm going to go down and find a track in there for sure. Okay, this area here, right here, right here where I'm pointing the light is where he sat. Put his hand right there. Put the light up on the up on there. Then to put the hand down right there. There's a handprint. <sighs> Looks like it could be a place to defecate. If so, it's possibly there's a a scat down there. Scat's the word for a human excretion. Right. It scat. could be down there. And we don't know if that's not a place that they use for a lavatory. There's more than one down below here, too, on the other side here. Huh. Now, we don't that's know if that's not conclusive at all. Well, there's our buttock. That's right there. Hmm. I'm going back down here now where I suspect there's some tracks down here. A rock, a gold rock, a gold rock. Three rocks of a presentation many months ago to see what the creatures would do. Okay, so these what three they, rocks we're what, looking at were not here? They What they did is brought them back since last August 5th. So you brought them in here August 5th? Uh, no, not that day, no. Probably about uh, last April. So you brought rocks in that you'd spray painted? Don't confuse it. We spray painted these last April and May 2003. That's been a well over six months ago. The rocks were not here on August 5th. Right. But now, five they months are. later, they brought them back. My idea was to find out what they'd do with them. They hauled them out of here and for weeks and weeks at a time, they weren't around. Now they're coming back with these bed areas. Right. Back there now. The bedding areas are back through here. They've been laying in beds. Right. Looks like some print action up well, there. That's, that's what it is. Be worth These the... rocks here mean they've been messing with them. This is incredible. That's cool. Wow. So the rocks were here to begin with. Just this for the benefit of those viewing. They were taken out of the caves entirely out of here. You brought them initially, you came back, oh, the yeah. rocks were gone, and now you come back and the rocks are back, which is conclusive proof that the rocks were taken out and brought yeah, back by somebody. Back here and they brought back now, here. Let's, let's talk about that, because what would take, what could take rocks in and out? And what would want to? A cat, a bear, no. kids, I'm kids ain't going to be in there. Back. They'd throw them. They wouldn't be a mess with them. Exactly, so you've got some... Well, you know that an animal can't do that. An well, what animal about... can't pick that up no. and haul it out. What about that little mound right there? <laughs> <laughs> that looks a little interesting right there, a little... Now, here's what I want to tell you. Hold a shine that right on, right on that rock. And right there, just leave it right there. Okay, now shine on this rock. Give me a second. Wow. I got it right tonight, I tell that much. Okay, now on that big rock. I got it right tonight, just a second. Okay, okay right you got right. it? Yep. Okay. Now over here, that's hand activity. Back there's a bed. See a bed? That's been dug out since Paul's Yeah, house. look at the bed. Okay, hey, wait, Bill. Yeah. You guys uh, turn your headlamp up, Jeff, so I don't get... Cause that's I'll take a picture of you two. <laughs> you ready? Ready. We'll make copies of this for everybody too, yeah. so you can look at the stills and then watch the video. You and it's realize like, oh. what this means? I'm not sure anybody does but me. These guys have hauled <laughs> these rocks clear out of this cavern, clear out of this cavern, or someplace and stashed them. Right. Yeah, they the why are they important to them? Ask yourself that question. They got gold someplace. They got a gold stash. This was brought back and says, hey, mom, these didn't fly. <laughs> wouldn't get me near enough. <laughs> 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 if you're four, find the treasure, we keep a mouse chest and get a yacht around the world. You know? Oh, <laughs> man. Wasn't born, though. <laughs> Planet that or something. I'll be your financial planner through it all. <laughs> hey, guys, guess what? Now, Paul knows I'm telling the truth. These caves have been dug out big time since last August. Yeah, they weren't near that deep. 